Well, welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another Hasbro news video. Today we're going to be talking about everything Hasbro PulseCon 2024. For those of you not in the know, this is Hasbro's new yearly convention, quote unquote, to talk about their toys. It kind of started as a physical thing, didn't do well, then they went to digital, it was a couple days, that really didn't fly all too well. Short and sweet, especially for adults, there's not a whole heck of a lot of children watching this. At least there shouldn't be. Children should be in school on Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, right? So that's when it starts this Friday, September 13th. But yes, for us adults and for those of you who are watching, short, sweet, to the point, we don't need all the razzle-dazzle. Just tell us what's coming, how to get it. And that's what we will be talking about here today with all the upcoming September 13th Hasbro Pulse Con exclusives. So we'll jump right into it. Starting September 13th, now, if you have the whole Hasbro Pulse subscription service, which no judgments, but I don't buy into that, you get it one hour earlier than everyone else. So at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, you guys can buy all those. And then for all the other peasants out there, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern is when you can start grabbing these on Hasbro Pulse exclusively. So the first one being G.I. Joe Classified Series number 136, Edward Starduster, Skylar. Interesting looking figure. I like that he comes with a number of accessories. Unlike McFarlane Toys, they allow guns, which is a nice touch. If you're going to buy a G.I. Joe military figure, it's kind of a, a no-brainer. Multiple weapons, blast effects, you got the whole jetpack, multiple hands. There's a lot in the box. I like, I always say, as I'm not a G.I. Joe collector, but I can totally respect the line and thinking, yeah, if you are a collector of G.I. Joe, you seem to all be pretty happy. Now, I know that's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it looks like you get a lot of stuff. You get vehicles and you get deluxe packs and you can really build up your armies and everything else. So it looks like a fun line, at least in my eyes, of someone who's not collecting it. But here he is all packaged up. Edward Starduster Skylar. You can grab him this coming Friday. Moving on to... Star Wars The Black Series. No, no, it, it won't be Dash Rendar. We're not there yet. Hopefully one day, fingers crossed. We are getting a Prince Zizor, so we're one step closer. They kind of teased him. But I have to say, this, I, I'm not going to be getting it. But I see the nostalgia for me. I remember this being a Toys R Us exclusive. This was a preview of episode one of course this is the star wars black series stap and battle droid figure i remember it when it was just a small tiny figure on the little stap now it's the six inch scale black series and it looks pretty solid i like it i think it looks pretty cool am i going to be ordering it no but i'm happy that i have my older one and i'll totally stick with that power of the force if I'm being honest, is really where I'm at with Star Wars these days because the TV shows definitely aren't doing it for me. No, I don't want to get into a conversation about why. You all know why. If you like it, thumbs up for you. That's really cool. I'm glad that there are people out there that dig it. I am not one of them. But you have the battle droid, which we have seen before. He's got the little blaster. He's got the stap. I dig it. That's really cool. Again, it just brings back... To be honest with you, it brings back the nostalgia, but it also brings back them clogging the store shelves way back then, along with Shadows of the Empire and all that kind of stuff. For those of you that remember Toys R Us, but yeah, all packaged up, ready to go. Pretty interesting figure. So again, if you want them, much like all the others, Friday on Pulse is the place to be. Moving on to Transformers. In the recent couple days, I've been having fun with Transformers. I found the new Springer. I say new, quote unquote, but it's like the better looking Springer for the studio series. And I also completed the Dinobots with Swoop. So stoked on that. Bring on Devastator and the new Optimus Prime. I tells you what. But we're going to be getting, and this is cool. This is from the Japanese Transformers, if I'm not mistaken. This is the Dino King multi-pack so you get six dinosaur robots they all combine into this dino king and while i am a huge fan of g1 transformers and i've gradually gotten into the japanese stuff i'm more car robots armada and then especially transformers animated but with the dino king 
is for me, it's cool, but it's probably nothing I'm going to be getting, if I'm being honest with you, because I have no attachment to this figure. It's not a character that I really know about. It's just like, oh, okay, I you know what the Dial King is, sure, always. You got the box. The box, I feel, is one of the coolest things. I wish they would do that packaging for the Transformers that you see on store shelves. I think that that would be really cool. It's a little bit of old school, a little bit of new school, Great artwork. I love that digital cube. Let's just do more of that, Hasbro. That's that's really awesome. On the backside, it tells you about all the various Dino King dinosaurs that make up old Dino King. So bring on more Japanese stuff, especially. I think that that's pretty cool. So like all the other ones, Friday is the place to be. And then lastly, we have the Marvel Legends entry, of which this was on display at San Diego Comic-Con. It's Kang in his little hover chair. Now, Entertainment Earth may have put some listings up uh, previously on accident, mind you. And then, yeah, maybe sort of we've been hearing things here and there about Secret Wars. So I really wouldn't be surprised if this kind of tied into the whole upcoming Secret Wars kind of thing that might be coming, upcoming. <laughs> we'll have to wait till Friday, but stay tuned for pre-orders on that. But yeah, the, the, the chair is fine. I, I think that's the best part about that. You get extra head portraits which is cool, so you can do variant Kangs if you bought prior Kang when he kind of came out mm, kind of sort of recently. He's kind of got like one of those duck beak looking ones. He's got more of the, the flesh colored heads and yeah, it's all well and good. Does this excite me? The, the chair, I guess, if anything, because I feel like I already have Kang. I feel like I'm good on that. It's got the gun, the blast effect, extra hands. This out of the four, of course, this would be the one that I grab if I grab it kind of just bought the next one we'll be talking about. But yeah, sure. Kang and his hover chair. Very curious to know your guys' thoughts on this Marvel Legends figure. It's like I've been different. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, but do I need it? No, not really. It's like, eh, that kind of thing, back and forth. And then, of course, Transformers, G.I. Joe, Black Series, Star Wars. Let me know. But here's the one. Yeah, Let's talk about this because... They were kind of touting it. It seemed like they were going to put it up on Friday, and then lo and behold, just went up uh, about an hour ago as of this video's recording. So we have Dragon Man. Now, we knew this was coming. Again, revealed at San Diego Comic-Con. Now, seemingly, it looks like they're going to be skewing the whole Marvel Legends crowdfunder that they do. And I, for one, am very happy about this because I honestly feel like Hasbro ran the crowdfunders and are still continuing to do this into the ground. And I think that in terms of the Legends area, the whole engine of vengeance, that did not go over very well with fans. That, coupled with Giant Man kind of being barely funded, it was like, oh, it was right on the cusp kind of thing. Legends fans are fickle, let's be honest. I'm part of that, where I'm like, yeah, the engine of vengeance was cool, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted Danny Ketch. If they had done Danny Ketch, with the bike that lit up, I would have been like, you got me. I, I, I'm good. Let's let's go. But the engine of vengeance, the price point was, of course, the main reason. And then it just kind of spiraled from there. But no, that wasn't for me. That was not going to be my top Ghost Rider pick on a Ghost Rider anniversary. So I think it was very mismatched. The Giant Man, sure, that totally works. I'm kind of sad that it didn't reach the final goal, unfortunately. I am, for one, glad that we got the zombie giant man. That's the thing that I really wanted out of it. Because I was totally fine with the original Toy Biz Build-A-Figure giant man. I'm like, yeah, we're good. That's an appropriate size for doing the whole Avengers lineup. But to get a more modern one, sure, I totally understand. But like I said, the zombie thing was definitely what I wanted. So the fact that they're doing this, it's not a crowdfunder. It's just... It's going to go up, kind of like a made-to-order dealio. You got a little bit of time if you want it. When it went up, I just bought it. Friends of mine, they bought it. 85 bucks, not a bad price tag at all, considering what Hasbro Marvel Legends have been doing in the past. I think that's a good way to kind of go, okay, it's a giant figure. It's like 10 inches tall. It's got a giant wingspan to it. Awesome. Let's do more of this instead of the crowdfunder thing because the crowdfunder thing just drags on. It drives me nuts. It's boring. It's so drawn out and just so beaten to death. Like, enough with the crowdfunders. I know G.I. Joe and I know Transformers flourish. That's totally cool. Keep those up. People seem to be very happy with those. But with Marvel Legends, it's a mixed bag, as we all know. Now, with the Dragon Man, 
again, he looks pretty spot on. He looks pretty epic. I like the wings. The one question I have, though, is that they show two renders. The renders of the wings being out, and they have pink within the webbing of the wings. And then he has the more draped, closed wings, and there's no pink paint within the webbing. So I'm curious if that's going to change or if that's gonna be two different looks based on comic book looks and such. I like the color of Dragon Man. I think they got a good purple going on. You have his brown underoos. The wings, the pink, doesn't really do it for me. I wish it was maybe a little bit different color. I know that's how it is in the comics. I totally get it. But if the more draped wings are just a solid purple, I kind of prefer that. Or maybe just a little bit darker purple, something like that, just to kind of offset it. That way it's not just cheapy looking, right? It's like they didn't paint, they didn't do anything to it. He comes with a pair of glasses. He has a book. That's all well and great. That's cool. He's got extra hands. For a larger figure, instead of doing the crowdfunding, I feel like this is, for me, the appropriate way to go. Here's the figure. You want it, buy it, you're done. I don't have to, oh, did it Did it get the tiers? Oh, did it? did it make the third tier? We don't have to talk about that ever again, and I feel like that is so lame now. It's lame because Hasbro went too far with it. <laughs> That's my honest thoughts on that. Do more of this. Do Fin Fang Foom if you want to go that route. Just go, hey, here's the figure. Buy it. We'll see you in a year. This thing doesn't even ship until around August 2025. They did say it could be sooner, but I mean, don't count on it. I would say, if anything, what, July 2025. Big difference, if anything. Yes, showing him next to a standard Marvel Legends, Mr. Fantastic. He's a big figure, as he should be. It's an appropriate size for Dragon Man. So, 85 bucks for the price tag. I'm totally cool with that. The shipping was free. Just had to pay tax. I think it was 93 bucks out the door. Fine. We're good. Do more of this. It's cheap. I think a lot of people, based on the comments I've been seeing, are more inclined to gravitate towards this. They seem to be very happy with the price. It's not a crazy price for a giant figure. So, yeah. I will say good job, Hasbro, on this one. The PulseCon exclusives, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Kang. Maybe, if anything. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything. Everything Hasbro makes, I guess you could say, including a Beetlejuice Ouija board. Ah, for those of you who've seen the movie, I did like the movie. I'm not going to get the Ouija board, but this is available too. They also make board games in case I thought they only made action figure Marvel Legends and such. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, again, if you're interested, Hasbro PulseCon, I'll do all the live coverage, and we'll have all the photos and the images and the pre-orders going on my social channels this Friday. I look forward to seeing you. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.